Well, my dear, JE means 2025 warriors who are going to crack the JE means in the January attempt itself. Now, there are these important guidelines by NTA and remember, these are updated new guidelines regarding the dress code, things which you can carry, which you should carry, things which you may avoid to, you know, take it to the examination hall, things which are definitely not allowed inside that hall. And, you know, there might be many questions what to do about the mobile wallet and so many other things. So every single detail in this particular short video. So quickly smash the like button and join in and also call all your friends or share this video with all your friends and make sure that you are liking this because this should reach the maximum students or else many of you might even get you know disqualified or might not be allowed or might just you know unnecessarily waste time just before entering the examination hall now we all know that the examination is going to be conducted in many shifts on multiple days so the rules are going to be the same and especially if this is your first time maybe you are not a dropper then you might be more nervous because things are little bit different than the board examinations so first of all regarding the location and where your examination center is this is the most important thing because if you do not reach on time then you will not be allowed inside the examination hall please remember that also you won't be allowed to leave the examination hall till the timing is complete for security and privacy reasons keep this in mind okay obviously you won't leave before but what you should do regarding the location see you will get the exact location on the admit card you will also get the timing of the you know the uh, shift in the admit card right now you just know the date so once you get the timing and the particular location put up that particular location on google or whatever maps you are using and see whether that is the correct school college or center sometimes for example there might be different branches in different locations for example kv school maybe in some place kv school in some place by mistake if you enter something else you might reach the wrong location so be very careful that is the location where you are supposed to go if that location is very close just one day before you can ask some friend or your mom and dad or your brother sister to visit the location for confirmation purpose you don't go and see there because you don't want to waste your time and other things so you can ask just for confirmation otherwise it is not even needed if you're sure okay i know this school okay i know it uh, this location next important thing if you if you're getting dropped by someone confirm yes are you going to drop me 100 percent if it's your parents no worries but maybe it's your uncle or some other friend be very very sure if it's a taxi rickshaw make sure there is no band or there are no restrictions in place or the taxis cabs uh, rickshaws are available at that time without any problem okay just one day before see how much time it takes on the google map okay that will give you an idea it is ideal to reach two hours before but some of you might have some special clothing or you know you might have some additional restrictions especially the pwd candidates or if you're wearing hijab and all of that so better to reach little bit more early because more checks might be there for you and that is the reason why you need to be extra sure of that you don't want to waste your precious examination time and go enter at the last moment everything will be done over there be it your hand sanitizing be it you know proper checking everything will be done by the examiners or the invigilators at that location is this absolutely clear okay admit card will be uh, obtained usually three to four days before your examination date so if it is on 23rd you will most likely get on 20th if it is on 28th you might get it on 25th or 24th so don't expect all the admit cards might be released on the same day it might be on different days depending on the day so don't panic if it doesn't come okay coming to the dress code also yes everything will be given what all things you should carry 100% you should carry the admit card with the self declaration the undertaking you should download it from the NTA website right now it might not be shown because the admit cards are not yet released but when it is released download the admit card over there only you will get self declaration form download it take a printout of it printout should be clear 
yeah it can be black and white no issues but yeah preferably take a color print out there is no hard and fast rule now you don't have to fill all the details the signing and everything do it in front of the examiner wherever sign or thumbprint is required that part you do it in front of the invigilator or the security person at that place itself is that okay right now it might not be shown so don't panic sir where is the self declaration sir where is the undertaking it will all come later on okay pwd candidates might need a medical certificate please keep that medical certificate handy if you are a diabetes or some other patient you need that medical certificate handy if you are taking a scribe scribe means somebody else is going to write the examination that scribe certificate is mandatory okay all these things are mandatory these are special things for some people who are with special needs keep that in mind okay this much is clear the photograph also please carry it the photographs are also mandatory please carry some extra photographs you might be needing them at that place the same photograph which you have uploaded on the nta site if it is not the same at least you should look similar it should not be like drastic changes there suddenly you are looking very fat hairstyle has completely colored or changed uh, suddenly you know things are different no use similar photographs keep it in handy just keep it handy carry some 3 4 photographs just in case okay same standard passport size photographs id is also needed photo id mean meaning how come they know that you are that same person in that photo so id card is required what all documents might be needed either school card or pan card driving license voter id passport aadhar ration card 12th board blank passport photograph any one don't carry all of them any one only usually students carry either license or aadhar card or school id card but preferably carry a government id card like the aadhar card the driving license or the pan card that is most secure and it will work okay everyone perfect okay all right all right all right how to log in into my jd mains account go to the jd mains website you will see that login page there only over there only you will be able to download admit card once it is released right now as of now when i have made the video it has not yet been released okay passport size photograph i already mentioned same as on the application form preferably 99% please use that if by chance you are not able to find it at least take a similar photo id card okay you might have to pay, you will have to paste it okay when you enter the examination hall you will be needed over there don't carry one carry more than one just in case carry it in two pockets if one by mistake it has happened you have kept it in one pocket while taking out the phone the photo fell off or while taking out the keys the photo fell somewhere so keep it in two pockets just on the safety side got it this is a important thing then for drinking water preferably carry transparent bottle don't carry solid color sir semi transparent semi color no transparent if there is a sticker on it remove that sticker some bisleri kinley sticker is there remove that sticker don't keep any sticker of pepsi cola and all of that pen carry a transparent pen like this don't carry solid pens which look like this don't carry this kind of pen this kind of pen is not allowed okay this kind of pen is not allowed carry transparent pens only blue black anything will do but just carry transparent one or two carry one blue carry one black just in case then rough sheets you don't have to carry anything rough sheets will be given to you at the test center and they will be also collected before you leave the hall so no need of rough work many rough sheets will be given it's not like sir will i get only three rough sheets four if needed they will give you more but unnecessarily you can't borrow sir i want 100 no they won't give but uh, you know whatever is the most required rough sheets they will definitely give you but you have to return it and don't try to be very smart or over smart i will keep the answers in the rough sheet i will pass it on to my friend or i will note down the questions chumma here and there i will write down the formulas when i get don't do all those things use the rough sheet for authentic purposes only okay you will get separate rough sheets at the test center next what about wallet keys bags purses or even the lunch or tiffin box maybe you are in some other city or test center is far so you are carrying something to eat because you feel hungry or the mobile phone please remember none of these items are uh, allowed in the exam hall but you will be like sir where do i keep my wallet i need money to go back in the bus or rickshaw 
or my bike is there my mobile phone how do i locate the location sir i need to eat i need to keep all these things in the bag even if you carry they will be placed in a separate location like a not like a locker but separate place outside the hall but please remember if any of these items are lost it is your responsibility not the center's responsibility nobody will take responsibility so don't carry too many uh, debit credit cards uh, your bike keys your mom keys uh, house keys that keys 100 keys you don't carry okay don't carry too many fancy jewelry or uh, gold items and all those things even if you are wearing necklaces keep it at home okay and uh, mobile phones don't carry costly mobile phones if you are uh, for that day if you can avoid try to take somebody else's phone which is cheap okay because the uh, loss of any products or goods is not the center's responsibility i am saying this again categorically okay it is your responsibility usually nothing happens but just saying there might be some you know nasty people or some weird elements who might just steal your mobile you cannot blame anyone if you catch the person okay if they can't that's it some person might take and run away they do not give you lockers exactly but it is stored in a separate place is this clear give me a thumbs up okay perfect but all these things you can carry outside the hall keep it in a safe place now things which you should not carry like i have told you mobile phones smart watches earphones calculators electronic watches metallic items electronic gadgets none of them are allowed inside the hall even if you carry this it will be placed outside it will be just kept outside if any of these items get lost your responsibility not the center's responsibility you can't wear earphones don't wear watch sir how do i see time it will be available on the center there will be a clock or on the computer only it will show time remaining sir my examination time was 10 o'clock but the paper loaded on the computer screen at 10 15 sir 15 minutes lost don't worry if the paper starts 10 minutes late you will be given those extra 10 minutes automatically by the computer so don't get scared some center might start at 10 some center might start at 10 15 don't get scared okay clear that time will automatically adjust you will always see time remaining so no need of watch keep a track of time on the computer screen not on the clock on the computer screen okay calculator is not allowed sir will a calculator like a digital calculator be there on the screen no you have to calculate in the rough work lock tables not allowed lock tables will not be provided calculator will not be there on the screen so please remember you have to make your own calculations in the rough work absolutely clear next geometrical instruments uh, scale even a simple device like scale is not allowed protractors paper textual material printed material nothing is allowed inside the examination hall no stationaries okay even if you are found you will be asked to keep it outside you will be asked to keep it outside it is not the management's responsibility earrings ornaments bracelets fancy purses metallic objects nothing is allowed please remember that inside the hall if they find it they'll just keep it outside again if you don't have a bag please remember if you don't carry a bag they will just be kept outside so anybody can take it so be aware carry a bag all right some centers may even restrict the candidates from wearing shoes so please prefer sandals or slippers i know it is very cold and some places you might be like sir i have to wear shoes even if you wear shoes keep it very simple like canvas shoes don't wear complex that big woodland type of shoes or uh, big big sport shoes you know that ankle length shoes don't wear that they will be removed and you might not be even allowed with those shoes somebody might steal it again outside so preferably wear slippers or sandals in warmer places in colder places where it is not avoidable there wear simple canvas or simple uh, shoes okay fair enough all right and don't wear very very big big thick thick shock, uh, socks edible items are not allowed you cannot say sir i have this habit of you know eating chips while solving paper they will slap you okay so don't uh, you cannot eat or drink juices sir can i fill some juice in my transparent water bottle don't do all that stupid things nothing is allowed okay only students who have a certificate that they have diabetes 
they will be allowed to carry eatables inside the hall such as sugar tablets and fruits nothing fancy i cannot carry biryani inside okay i cannot carry some roll or anything sir i will eat roll and i'll solve the paper what nonsense you have gone there to eat or it's not a restaurant guys okay now regarding the dress code very very important keep simple clothing simple uh, don't wear collared heavy collared shirt if you are wearing collared shirt again that might cause a problem so don't wear collared shirt why to unnecessary create problem don't wear those multi pocket jeans cargo pants no simple trousers don't wear half pant and go <laughs> don't do all these stupid things okay don't wear half pant and go there all right so big big sole shoes not allowed for girls don't wear fancy frocks don't wear palazzos okay you can wear simple jeans simple trousers simple shirts kurtis yes they are allowed don't wear something which is very very loose lot of hanging no don't wear such things simple kurtis simple uh, pajamas or simple jeans or trousers are perfectly fine okay all right don't wear any ornaments don't wear caps hats all these things okay don't wear too many colors fancy fancy colors so mirrors are there on it something is popping out all these things no 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 definitely not allowed keep it simple plain designs not too many markings if there is something written on it please avoid that please avoid that something is written some coat is written i am this i am that don't wear such shirts don't say sir i feel motivated when i read that coat don't do all that they might feel that there is something hidden meaning in that particular coat because the examiner might not be a pcm guy he will say this is the definition of newton's laws so what will you do will you sit and argue or will you remove your shirt and go in banyan no right so better not to wear anything which has written on it okay wear simple sandal slippers for boys and girls both all right so this were the things regarding the dress code and regarding the things to carry and not to carry and regarding the rough sheets and everything else i hope you not only learned understood but also thoroughly enjoyed the way i explained it so please like this video share this with maximum people and write a comment ready to crack this exam ready to crack this exam rcb jersey allowed sir ayyo why man people will again tell you when is rcb going to win why do you want to unnecessarily get more demotivated so better to avoid that conversation for later on okay So thank you very much guys bye bye take care assalamu alaikum